Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. Now in the last episode, I showed you how to split a route into two separate routes. In this case, I'm doing one for each day of a trip. My first route, which I have showing here on the screen, is going from Carrollton, Texas to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Now in this video, what we're going to show you is some more ways you can use routing preferences to really change how your route looks and functions. The first thing I want to do is I want to open the window for my route. So I'm going to double click over here and now we can see uh, over here on our right, we can see the route from home to Holiday Inn Express Hot Springs. Now what I want to do is I want to go up to Base Camp Preferences and I want to open our Preference window. Now we currently have selected Fastest Time and Base Camp is calculating the route along these highways based on how it has decided we can get there in the quickest amount of time. I'm also avoiding interstates and I am allowing major highways and state highways. So now, let's just see how we can change the dynamics of our trip, focusing on the visual route on the screen by changing some of these techniques. Let's go to Calculation Mode and select Curvy Roads. Now you can see Basecamp has pretty significantly changed our route to uh, accommodate our request for more curvy roads. This is a pretty cool feature if you're into motorcycling and you like to take better, more curvy roads. Now let's go back to fastest time for just one second. I'd like to be able to see how changing the calculation mode in preferences affects my route. To do that, you need to have both screens open at the same time, your preferences window and the route window here. Let's click over to the Info tab in the Route window. You can see that it tells us the total distance is 286 miles with a total moving time of 5 hours and 54 minutes. Now, take into consideration we haven't added fuel stops or stopping for lunch or stopping to take a drink of water or anything like that. This is just the route as it exists right now. If we come back up here to Preferences and we choose Curvy Roads, which is something motorcyclists will commonly do. If we select Curvy Roads now, it changes our route and you can see we have a total distance now of 346 miles and a total moving time of 8 hours and 34 minutes. It's pretty safe to say that with fuel stops and lunch and things like that, you'll be well over 9 hours. That's still a pretty long riding day. Now let's go back to fastest time again. What if we wanted to do curvy roads but only in say the state of Arkansas? We don't really care about the Dallas-Fort Worth curvy roads because there's really not much to see here. But when you get into Arkansas you get into some pretty nice uh, scenery and things like that. Well the only way to do that would be to split this into another route. You could split this route into two more routes by adding a waypoint here, maybe at the border, and then separate those two routes out and then select the curvy road option for the second half of the trip. There's no way to choose curvy roads for just one little section of a route. It has to be for the entire route. Now let's take a look at another way we can use routing preferences to give us some desired results. For example, let's zoom in on the area where we were at Hot Springs. I'm just going to zoom in on this space right here where we made that routing change in our previous video. If we look at the via points on our route, you remember we created this uh, little place called Airport Road. Let's zoom in a little bit more if we remove this waypoint, this is the one we added in the last video. We'll remove the waypoint and we'll recalculate our route. And if you'll remember, Basecamp put us down here on this county road or whatever it is, this smaller road, because it is probably a faster way to get to the hotel. But we wanted to go on Highway 70, I believe it is. We can sometimes use shortest distance to do things like this. 
If we click on shortest distance, you'll see that it will reroute us up onto Highway 70. Now let's look at the difference over here in the info screen. I'm at 5 hours and 52 minutes of total time. If I go back to fastest time and let it recalculate the route, I'm at 5 hours and 54 minutes. So I'm not really sure why Basecamp thinks that fastest time is what it is because it's actually 2 minutes longer than if I choose shortest distance. So from time to time when you're looking at your route, you may want to use the shortest distance option because it may actually be a better option. Now that's all we're going to talk about in this video. In the next video, we're going to cover a lot of cool stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Click on the little subscribe button down below. And thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.